Greetings everyone, sacred sisters, craft thrifty goddesses. Welcome to an episode of Craft Thrifty Goddess on Takayu Temple TV via YouTube, where you learn to bring out your inner goddess via craft magic. In today's uh, craft magic, we're going to learn how to make a pendant, such as the one I have on my neck. This is made out of brass. Um, we're going to make the triple goddess pendant, triple spiral goddess, because there's also another triple goddess symbol with the three phases of the moon. This one gears more toward the fertility and the cycles of fertility, and it doesn't all only deal with fertility such as giving birth to an actual child, but it can also be giving birth to your creative ideas, giving birth to a new life, giving birth to a new self and giving birth to your inner goddess. Here's a silver one. Look at that. I don't know if there's too much glare on the light. But I've got a whole bag full of pendants in here. The copper one is really nice. As we know, copper is an excellent conductor of energy also, if you want with your crystals, it also helps to increase the energy of the crystals and the uh, vibrations. And then here's the brass one. Isn't that lovely? And it's fantastic if you know how to make it yourself. But if you're not a crafty, craft thrifty goddess, I would still urge you to give it a shot. Because being a goddess is birthing your creativity. Um, everyone's creativity may not be making jewelry, but it is a fun way to bring out your creativity and um, what better way to get in tune than learning to create. we're gonna get started what you will need is I'll show you some different wire and tools that you'll need to make this piece here uh, this is the one I particularly use was the brass it's artistic wire 20 gauge artistic brass wire non tarnished brass non tarnished brass um, also use some of the copper that one is copper and if you see the previous video you'll find that copper and bra brass is a derivative of copper is mixed with another alloy as well as bronze so here that one is non tarnished copper wire this one is 18 gauge 18 gauge um, the bigger the, the smaller the number the thicker the gauge so this one is a little thicker, but it still works out between 18 and 20. This one is the silver, and it is also 20. But um, the ones I have pre-cut are in the copper. Here are a few of the tools. These are different type of uh, pliers that are used for jewelry making. The main ones you'll need is this one which has the wire cutter edge on there and the flat nose for pinching the wire and this one has the round edge for making spirals and then you have this flat one where you can use it for spiraling around the um, you know once you get the little circles well you'll see when I do it um, also, you'll need this cord because the ones that I'm making, I'll show you a finished product. Here is the silver, and here here's the silver, and here's the brass. And this is a choker. It's about 14 inches, and I am. They are for sale on CraftThriftyGoddess.webs.com, and you go on there. Actually, they're on sale on Artfire, 
but that's the main site and you can click the link and go to the site where you can buy it so here you go isn't that lovely get all three and mix and match bronze or brass and get the copper copper brass and silver so, okay let's get to how to make it three cut the wire in three pieces and I'll show you how long it is you could use a regular measuring tape but I have this jewelry measurement board or I'll just use the ruler on here about almost five inches doesn't have to be exact but between four and a half to five inches you know the longer the bigger the spiral the smaller the smaller the spiral and the cord you can measure your own circumference but for me I like the 14 inches, so that's about 10, 10, and this one is about 12, oh wait, no, 6, yeah, it's 14, 6 and 6, 12, and then the last part is about 2 inches. So let's do this again. If you can see those numbers, this is a six inch ruler, so that's about six. It's about another six, twelve, and then you got about two inches left. So it's about 14, 13, 14, but it's elastic, so it's stretchable. And um, I'll show you how the clamp is on the end. This also was made. So. Okay, well let's get to making your triple spiral goddess symbol. Alright, first we'll take the three wires. And you want to go about, I usually measure my finger about a little halfway past my this line on my finger that's about let's see it's about a good inch and a half and then I take one and start raveling it around here and you kind of hold that tight so it doesn't move then you use use your pliers here to help you wrap that one around a little more and you don't have to go a whole lot maybe once twice you don't want to get too short then I pull the bottom piece and I bring that around a little I'm also going to have the still, still photos after this so you can pause and look at the photos. Excuse the camera view. Some parts are out of the camera view.
Okay, so basically you're gonna have this. Three at the bottom. Let's see if I can hold it. Three at the top. And you just use your pliers to tighten that up a little. Then, what we do to stabilize this, these three pieces, we're going to braid them. Just sort of do like this. Weave them in and out. And then as you go, you can just tighten it a little. and get the pliers and squeeze it a little more. And that goes. And you keep weaving it till you get to the end. Then what you're going to do with the end, you're going to take your pliers and just bend them around and continue braiding it, but you're bending it over. going in opposite directions is to make it secure. Let's see if I can bring that closer in there. And I'll bend this over here. And then you just kind of keep doing it under, bending them under to smooth out this rough edges. get into this camera a little better. All right, let's move on to the next phase. And then you have three straight pieces. And then you have this little braided end. And then you can tighten this a little more later. Just make sure it's secure where it doesn't unravel. And also you could use a nail file or a filer to sand the rough edges so it doesn't stick to or anything. Okay, so let's start with the first spiral. What you will need is your circular pliers. It doesn't really matter what direction because you can always switch it around. You start at the end. I usually start at the end because I want it to be small. I don't want a big hole in the center. Let's see? About like that. And then you spiral. I go about once and then you'll get a loop, something like this. But you don't want that big gap in there. You want it to be more like that. And once you get that little loop, you can use this piece. Between this and your fingers, you can guide it in a circular motion. And I even sometimes just use my fingers the rest of the way. See? And then you spiral that all the way down. It's your first, first loop.
Okay, I fast forward a little. But same routine for the other two swirls. And you get something like this. And what you do to put this swirl at the top is you just bend this over. Like so. And then you can put your circles in whichever direction. And this can be turned around. This way you can simply switch it. And then bring that spiral down a little more. And this one, I kind of loop over the little wire a little. Tighten it up. Just tighten and bring the little swirl a little closer. Oh, and as for the back, what we do with this, we just take the circle pliers and we Gently roll it over, and this is where you're going to hang the pendant. In the top part, bend it over, and then just make like a little loop with that. Which gives you a little hole. And since we'll be using this thick cord, there's no problem with that going in there and falling out and the cool thing is you can always adjust it This could have actually been a little bit longer if you want. You can cut the wires maybe about six inches to give a little bit more of a bigger circle for your cord or your wire. Or you, know, you can also use like leather cord, like leather cord, and have it hanging down low. And you can adjust it. So with that, let's make the end. What we'll need is the Take the brass wire and start spiraling. So say here we got, you look at about the thickness of it. And that's about how far you want to go on this circle, about the same thickness. Let's see. So I'll go all the way down to the end. I'll start there. There you go. Let's see. And you just spiral around. You got about one, two, three, four, five, about six spirals. Okay. And then you fit in the elastic cord in there I would say kind of keep circling it till it gets in there or if you have to you can cut the ends in a little triangle
Okay, then you bend this wire over and you put the end of the wire into this little hole here, kind of into the uh, elastic so it can stay. I'll straighten that out with these pliers. Let's see if we can see that. bent it over and stuck it back into the the rubber so it can so it won't stick out and then you just use your pliers to squeeze the, the two wires together as tight as you can and flatten them out and it's kind of what you want to get at the end doesn't have to be perfect you can sit and make it perfect but um, it's basically what you want to see then you take the round pliers and you bend over the hook. And so, one, two, three. In the very end of it, you bend back out. what you'll get. And that is the hook on one end. Now we'll put the clasp on the other. Just hoop to go in the hoop. You start it out the same way. Okay, here's the final end. I start it the same way. So, so there's your hook. And you tighten it a little and loosen it. Now that's the clamp. And here's your finished triple goddess symbol choker. There we go. And with brass, you just have to get a jewelry cleaner because it does tarnish a little. It gets a little dull. So just get a jewelry cleaner. You can shine it right up. This is um, the brass next to the gold. So a little more dull but you still get the nice gold tone and if you shine it up with one of those brass cleaning cloths it'll brighten right back up so thanks for watching triple spiral goddess symbol charm on craft thrifty goddess at takayu temple tv